two videos for me. So, what are you waiting for? Share the video and don't forget to leave your comment about this. And you can also comment on what topic do you want me to share with Hello guys, it's me your Ati Bans. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, vlog guys, um, I am taking good care of a very cute baby. Wow! Yeah. She is my charge. She's two months old. And well, being a caregiver, uh, you always have a choice whether to go for the old person or the elderly or you go for the younger person or the babies and children and toddlers, whatever, okay? So for me, I specialize on the newborn babies. Why? Because the main reason I chose babies because they give joy to my heart. Like, they are so adorable. They are so kissable. They are so cute. They are so lovable that I get a lot of hugs and kisses along the way. <laughs> and most of all, it also, they also give me warmth, you know. Be as I give them warm on a winter day, I get the same feeling too. So no need for a lover. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, right? Well, I have not even had one. Or maybe I have one, but I don't get the chance to get the comfort of loving that much. So, to have babies to hug to and kiss to, it's safer. You know, <laughs> wala tayong scandal dyan. <laughs> wow! Okay, so, what it would be like to be a caregiver? Well, when you are a caregiver, for us Filipinos, it is very important that we are really professionals or we are really uh, trained to do it. You know, there are some others who say that, oh, I'm a mother, so I can do it. It's not a problem. Oh, well, I've been caring for so many kids, it's not a problem. But guys, let me tell you, it's different caring with a foreign babies. You know, when we go abroad and look for a job, something like this, it's not just like doing the things that we usually do back home in the Philippines. It's very much different. You know why? We have to consider the culture because there are things we do that they didn't do. There are um, so many programs that each parents do that we don't usually do. So we should adapt to it. So when you're a caregiver, you should be adjustable, adaptable, lovable, and most of all, you must be very, very understanding of every detail, you know. These details can be different with every family. These details can be different from each parent. So if you are a caregiver like me, you must understand that even though we are very well trained to do all these things, we really have to consider what the parents want us to do. Okay? And well, being a caregiver, you get the highest pay among all works inside the house. <laughs> and those little things that we do, like just now the baby is sleeping, and so we have to do some chores in the house, within the house. It's just a part of it. You don't have to like feel like, oh no, I shouldn't be doing this because I come here only to take care of the babies. Diba? We are Filipino, we are trained, we are being um, taught to learn all these things. We are being, uh, like for me, uh, like for me, I got my caregiver course at the Philippine Women's University. Therefore, in my module, it includes cooking, it includes housekeeping, 
and budgeting, marketing, and all these things. But the main job is to really take care of the baby, okay? So start the early because, you know, it's for them it's easy. But for me, I want the newborn babies because for me it's so easy. You know, they're so tiny and like, oh, well, I just cannot describe the smell. And um, this smell, I believe, you know, it gives me the feeling of youth. <laughs> you see, I'm already almost 50 years old by next year, but I feel like I'm so young because I am always surrounded with young people. I am always with the babies. For these past seven years that I've been working abroad, uh, I always take care of babies because I just cannot describe the feeling. I wish to have one, but I cannot have one anymore. <laughs> because I'm already old. Therefore, I, you know, just enjoy myself doing all these things to other people and get paid, you know, for my children also. All right, guys. So I just happened to share these things with you because among the what what's happening in our country right now or not just in our country to the whole world where children are being exploited children are being abused you know in our little part we should like change a little for them you know when the parents are working they cannot provide that love 24 hours a day unless we have um, giving them like 12 hours of our time while the parents is away. And this love, you know, it's just so little for, for us to give to them. Some people may think like, oh, you were paid to do it. Yes, we are paid to do it. But the, the love that we were able to give is a very, very much different. And there is no price for it, okay? So, so much for the caregiver thing. <laughs> this is just, you know, a uh, small, small um, sharing that I'm going to share to you guys. I hope you like this. And she started to whimper. Therefore, I have to cut this off. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not in my channel, kindly subscribe for me. And do not forget to hit the bell button down below so that you'll be notified on my next upload. Okay? Just a little bit of this and that. That will be okay, right? <laughs> Soon I'm going to be giving you the whole um, uh, teachings about OFW's caregiver at the same time here abroad. Okay? For now, bye-bye. I'm going to see you soon.